Welcome, brother. I am Antonius, a novice like you. I've been instructed to guide you around the monastery and tell you what you can expect and what your duties will be. Okay, we are now a monk. We're in Sasau Monastery on the hunt for Pios to kill him. Uh, welcome back, guys, to another episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance. So let's just get straight in. We are talking to Antonius, which is, uh, he's a novice just like us. So thanks for prompting me during the rites. Oh, thanks this, for the helping singing, me out the terrible the singing. I had no idea what I was supposed to do. You don't know Latin, do you? Don't Just change worry. my camera. Story. Work in the scriptorium will teach you fast enough. Why exactly are you here? Was it your choice? Or did someone force you to come? Um, I wanted to become a... M oh, what was that? We got a labour book. I wanted to become a monk. Being here in the monastery is my dream come true. Being a monk is so... so exciting. All right, don't over <laughs> Well, no one's it. ever said that before. I'm curious if you'll still be singing the same tune in a month's time. Okay, tell me something about yourself, Nicholas. Would you tell me something about yourself? I'm a novice and I'm here because I'd make a poor merchant. I like books and I want an education. Although I must say, so far the monastic life's been quite... unexpected. Let's go then, I guess. Let's go then. Good. But before we do, here's a letter directly from the prior telling you all your regular duties from tomorrow onwards. Make sure to read it this evening. Okay. So you know how things work. Just another... Right, we can go now. Follow me closely. I'll explain everything as we go. Remember one word. Right, this it says there, for, uh, uh, if you must follow somebody... Oh, we know that, we know that. You serve the Lord now, not your own bodily needs. Bodily needs? What does he mean? Right, it's a Sarrow Monastery. So this is another thing that um, Sexy Biscuit did a comparison with. Please be with you, brother. Please to be this with is the you. Way to the dormitory, where we all sleep. You'll find a free bed there, which is now yours. Do you know the first thing the monastery taught me? No, go on, to tell appreciate me. Appreciate sleep. Oh, tell me about you it. You rise before dawn every day. It takes a bit of getting used to. When you have children, you do God appreciate. You. Where's he going? Be well. Yeah, when you have children, you uh, do appreciate sleep. Um, just you can't go through there. Hello. What are you doing? Oh God, is it bugged? Right, this is bugged now, is it? This is the garden, a place for silent contemplation and meditation. Centuries ago, this monastery was founded by the most esteemed of brothers, Saint Procopius. His earthly remains can be found in a cave under the monastery. Oh, can it? His spirit wanders the corridors at night, punishing any misbehaving novices. Oh. <laughs> so beware. <laughs> I wonder if he's got any um, treasure down there then. Together with the library. These are the places where we work. Okay. Ora et labora. Pray and work. As a novice, you must always listen to your Oh, this is the alchemy bench. And above us monks are the prior and the circators, who punish every infraction. Circators? You'll know them by the canes they carry. Do what they say. All right, I'll do, I'll, I'll this do this. This is the refectory, where we come together to eat. Dining room area? During meals, you must be silent. Only really? one brother reads aloud from the rule of St. Benedict. How boring. The rule is the only law we recognize, with the exception of those from God himself. The rule. If you break any of its precepts, it's if punishment. But I've already told you about the circuitors. Right, okay, so the circuitors are the... are the ones with the canes who will punish you if you don't do your duties. The, library, the pride of our monastery. A trove of learning. Okay. We don't just read books here. We also copy them. You too will learn how. Okay, fantastic. Can't wait. And that's all. Today you are still free from duty. But tomorrow you begin work like the others. Objective started. Anything, Go to bed. Ask any of the brothers. We'll be glad to help you. Okay, thank you very I much. I recommend sir. you get to know the other novices. You already know me. Then there is Siskin, Yodok, and Lucas. Okay. Thanks for showing me around. There's a lot to learn here. Right, okay, so um, I think this is going to be a pretty good quest. So we got to find Pyos. Tell him about your search for Pyos. Should we do that? 
Or should we have not done that? I need to make a confession. I'm no priest, but tell me what you've done. It's probably nothing to worry about. I'm here in the monastery looking for a thief. He had a hand in burning down the Neuhof stud. You don't say. And who are you to take such an interest? Uh, it's, it's not important. Yeah, no, it's not important. That's not important. Why are you telling me this anyway? What do you want from me? Perhaps you could help me find him? The missing thief? If I knew anything, I'd tell you. But I suppose it must be one of the novices. I've only recently heard about the Neuhof incident. And all the other brethren have been here much longer than that. I know. Mm. Aside from me, there are only four novices. But still, I don't know which one he could be. Three? Please, leave me out of it. And you're mm. right that it could be any one of them. No one knows anything about Lucas. Siskin okay. might be a lot of things, but a monk isn't one of them. And Yodok is a slimy Yodok. worm. Or is he? It wouldn't surprise me if he was behind that massacre. Yodok? Actually, the more I think about it, the less I like that Yodok. He's a treacherous rat who'd do anything to get in someone's good books. The thought of Yodok at Neuhof since chills up my spine. Okay, he doesn't like Yodok. Okay, so is Yodok Pios? Okay. Um, I better to say maybe you're right. <sighs> Maybe you're right. It's not a pretty thought. Thanks for your help. And please don't say a word to anyone. Don't fret, my friend. Your secrets are locked inside my lips. Okay. I don't think it's this Nikolai, Nicholas. He seems too calm. And he seems very knowledgeable as well of the monastery. Uh, tell me about, sorry, about yourself. Will you tell me something about yourself? There's not much to tell. I lived in Vlashim, and after my father died, I found out I wasn't much of a merchant. So I left the shop to my brother and decided to become a monk. It's peaceful here. There's food and lots of time to read. So you chose to come here? It may seem strange, but I'm one of the few novices that did. I might be the only one. The truth is, the idea of spending my life in a monastery was more appealing than being cooped up in a greasy old shop. Uh, I know that you're pious. We can't say that, can we? Um, I'm looking to get hold of some lot picks, are we? We should have lot picks, shouldn't we? Unless we've got no inventory. It occurred to me you might be the man to ask. I'm looking for some lock picks. Do you know anyone in the monastery who could help me? Lock picks? You surprised me, brother. And you, a nobleman's son. But you could ask Brother Solarius. Oh. They say he used to be a thief. Brother Solarius, okay. Talk to Brother Solarius, he might be able to get a few useful things. Fantastic. Um, I have a few I'd like questions. to ask you something about the monastery. Okay, so who's in charge here? Who's in charge of things around here? Truthfully, everyone except us. But officially, Abbot Peter. Okay. And soon enough, someone else. As if it mattered. Our life will still be work and prayer. I see. Abbot Peter. Abbot Peter is in charge. Are there rifts between the brothers? Are there any rifts between the brothers? Yes. From the moment talk began about electing a new abbot, it's been like a hornet's nest here. Strange you haven't noticed. Electing the abbot? Tell me something about electing the abbot. Abbot Peter is old. Okay. When he dies, they'll have to select a new abbot from amongst the brethren. The candidates are John and Nevlas. And if you ask me for my opinion, Nevlas is definitely the right man. Okay. Unfortunately, no one cares about my opinion because novices get no say. Wow. Wow. Okay, tell me something about life here. Tell me something about life here. Work, prayer, work, prayer, as if you didn't know. We serve God, and that's the central truth of our lives. Well, I would hate that. Um, who's responsible for what here? What are the roles of the various monks here? Someone takes care of the library, someone else the garden. Okay. The abbot supervises everyone, and in his absence, the prior. But okay. it's the circators you should worry about. Circators? They're the brothers who'll make sure we observe the rule. They can be quite strict, so if you want to avoid getting punished, always act righteously and do your duties honestly. Okay, fine. That's it. Well, End. that's all. Thank you for your time, brother. Right. Brother and novices, the following schedule describes the daily activities you shall attend to your first years in our monastery. Order and discipline are the cornerstones upon which the Order of St. Benedict is built. Any violations of the schedule, thus marked exclamation mark, shall be disciplined by the punishment of solitary confinement. When it is meditation that you seek, 
prayer and study can be substituted for food and sleep. So 3 a.m. start of the day. Are you having a bloody laugh? 4 a.m. morning prayer or for two hours. 6 a.m. is a common meal, so breakfast. 8 a.m. work in the frattery. A sign, oh, that's an exclamation mark. Ah, right, okay. So I have to remember this. So exclamation, so I've got to do morning prayer at four. And then I got to do something at eight, which is work in the factory, assigned by Brother Nevlas. Uh, 12 o'clock noon, work in the library, assigned by Brother Librarian, fit in name. Uh, 4 p.m. is afternoon worship, which I got to do. And then 6 p.m. is Vespers, common supper. And 7 p.m. is Compline, free time before retiring. And 9 o'clock, rest and nighttime curfew. Jesus Christ be praised, Father Demetrius Pryor. Right, so yeah, so we, we, we don't have to get up at 3, we can actually get up at 4, but we have to get there and pray. Right, okay, fine. Strict, isn't it? 3 a.m. Having a laugh. So I did in Haystack is find out which one of the novices is Pios and kill him. And uh, we got a side quest here in the cloister, so get to know the other novices. Um, go to bed as well. Right, it's 8 o'clock, so we got one hour, so we have a little nose, little snoop. Look. Cobweb. I think this place needs a good dust in. Oh, hello. I didn't even see you there. Can I talk to you, monk? What troubles you? Nothing troubles me. Just uh, introduce yourself. I'm Gregor, a novice. I know. But I've no time for idle chat. I transcribe books from dawn till dusk. I've been doing it for years and I'll be doing it till the day I die. What, you do nothing else? It is my penance and my blessing. And now, brother, if you don't mind, I'd like to get this page finished. Okay, sorry. Wow, what a boring job. He's just copying books. The forbidden books must be in that cabinet. Oh, oh, it's very hard though. I can't get in here. Damn it. Boring. Right, okay, let's go and find our bed. I've had a little look, little look around the library. Couldn't see a lot. Um, what a mess. This place needs to be cleaned up a little bit. So we need to find our dormitory. Um, we've got to go towards, towards B. Oh, this is the dining room. We've been cleaned up now since we were, we were last here. Right, is it through here? What time is it now? The time is oh, about half past eight. So we ought to get to bed. So this was the place where they do... What's the noise coming in for? There's the alchemy bench. Right, okay, there's a chest in here. Oh, there's the stuff. Oh, I can, oh wow, I can grab all this. Hey, cool. As well, I don't think it's stolen, is it? Anything else can I take? Right, yo, anything else in here? I love, I love taking things if I can. Free stuff. Oh, lockpick very hard. Bugger. Right, let's go and find our. Bed. What's it down here? What's down here? You might be wrong. Beside, Very dark, by the way. Oh, trespassing. Okay, it's not there. Hope you guys can see okay. It is very dark. I should have put a torch on, really. So our dormitory, excuse me. Our dormitory must be up here. People are already in bed already. Oh, that's the... Uh, Brother Solarius. Who's he? <laughs> right, so where's our bed? B. Over here somewhere. There we go. Right, let's go to bed. So let's have a look, just have a quick re recap what we need to do in the morning. Oh, I can't quite read it. Morning prayer at 4 a.m. Right, let's go to bed. And I'll see you guys in the morning. God be with you. Right, we're waking up at an ungodly hour. I'm going to have to put a torch on, I think. If I. I haven't got a torch. So I'm, I'm sorry, it's very dark. I can't see anything. Oh, it's Siskin here. We got to speak to Yodak, I think his name was. God, it's so dark, sorry. Apologies. So we need to go. What do we need to go for now? Let's have a look. We need to... Go to bed still. We've done that, haven't we? Okay, we're, we're late for our prayers now. Right, objective started. Go to the church for prayer and mass. 
All right, okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Whatever is already gone, we can be late. <laughs> Not very good, is it? Hello, Siskin. Let's have a quick look where this is. Oh, it's only over there. Right, okay. We've got to pray for like two hours now. And it's very dark and I could do with a torch. By the way. By the way, excuse me. Right, here we are. Oh. There's Antonius. There's Lucas. <laughs> How long did this? This got this for two hours. Sounds good. Sounds good. I want to speak to uh, Yodok. Where the hell is he? Oh, here he is. This is not a good time for questions, brother. Well, oh. right. This is the this is the perfect time to have a little look round. I reckon. I think we need to go. I'm, I'm just going to go everywhere. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Who's going to know? Seriously. What is actually going to happen? Hmm? Oh, torch there. Let me grab that torch. Brilliant. I love that. Thank you very much. So I can actually see now. There we go, I've got a torch, lads. You can actually see what we're doing. Brother? Yeah? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be working somewhere? Idle hands are the devil's workshop. Uh, Mitchell Guilt. Yes. You're right, brother. This is your first warning. Don't do it again. Sorry. So what time is it now? The time is... Five o'clock. Should I just pass the time then? I think I should need to pass the time. Let's go and pass the time until 6. And I think at 6 o'clock it's breakfast time. Is it? What's that you're He's carrying around? Uh, and why? Are you He's sure, sure, sure that sure belongs here? It's a torch. What's that you're carrying around? Here? And why? why did you get it? What's that you're carrying it's around? It's a torch. And why? Because it's dark. What's what that, that you're carrying around? And where did why? you get it? It's a torch! Are you sure that belongs here? God's sake, What's right. that you're carrying around? Greetings, brother. I'm Gregor, and I'm new here. Greetings to you, brother. I'm Yodok, the oldest of the novices. I hope you'll like it here in the monastery and that you won't get into trouble. Well, I'll try not to, but... You're young, perhaps intemperate. You might easily stray from the rules of the order. I suggest you get to know the older monks. Okay. You never know when it might come in handy. Right, so what do you think of the other novices? This is Yodok, by the way. I'm interested in the other novices. Antonius. Do you know anything about Antonius? Only that he came to the monastery voluntarily, because he didn't want to work in his father's shop. Antonius is alright. You can rely on him. He won't betray your confidence. Okay. He's always happy to help, which is more than can be said for the other brothers. Okay, I'm interested in something else too. I'm looking for a criminal in the monastery. Shall I ask for that? Listen, there's something I ought to tell Reputation you. Reputation gained. There's a dangerous criminal hiding in the monastery, and I came here to look for him. Ha! I knew it! He's a villain. Who's a villain? Uh, who are you, though? Oh, it, it's better not to ask, isn't it? It's always safer not to ask. Yes, it is. Never mind that. Who's a villain? That's Siskin. I always thought he was oh, an odd one. It's a skin. The way he carries on. But now it makes perfect sense. He's a criminal fleeing justice. What are you talking about? You clearly know something I don't. It's Siskin I'm Pios. Telling you, keep your eye on him. He's no monk. That's what my gut tells me. And my gut's never wrong. What are you going to do to that fellow once you find him? So Antonius said it might be Yodas. Yodas is saying it's Siskin. Uh, that's not your concern. That's not your concern. You should talk to the circators or the prior about it. I not can't, I can't. Uh, I think you're the one I'm looking for. I don't think it is, actually. Tell me about yourself. Can you tell me your something das. about yourself? I would if there was anything noteworthy to say. But I'm just the ordinary son of a landowner. Now a monk. There's nothing in my past, 
present, or future that anyone could find interesting. Why did he join the monastery? Because it was better than living in poverty. As a youngest son, I'm not entitled to inherit my father's estate, but he was kind enough to sell off some cattle and send me here. And you know what? I'm glad to be here. It's better than mucking out manure. Right, I think the best way to find out, actually, is to um, possibly look in their chests. If there's a chest by their bed in the dormitory. I think you're the one I know. Uh, who would you elect as abbot? Who would you vote for as the new abbot if you could? Why do you care? We don't have the right to vote, so we shouldn't get mixed up in it. I'm just interested, that's all. I like John better. But like I've said, it's not our place to get involved. It's enough that Antonius is mixed up in it. Don't you start too. Okay. So, Antonius preferred the other guy, didn't he, whoever he was? Um, I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. Okay, it's, it's all greyed out, so it's probably the same answers. You've reached a new level in speech. Okay, so let's um, end that dialogue. And we need to see Siskin now. Eat with the others. Is that compulsory? Let's go have a look to see if it's compulsory or not. Get rid of that torch now. Everyone's questioning our torch. What's that? Where did you get it? What's it for? Common meal, 6am. Right, if, if I'm not going to go for a meal, I'm going to go and... Uh... What's that Are you sure that around? Here? What's oh. that you're carrying around? And why? Jesus Christ. What is that? What is What's that you're carrying around? It? What's that you're and carrying why? around? And why? It's a, it's a torch. And Are you sure that belongs? 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 What is that? Right, all right. Forget it. All right. Goodness me. Anyway, the sun's coming up now. Um. So much the more of the punishment for sin. Make us avoid evil words. Therefore, I sit here? the spirit of silence so important, permission to speak should rarely Brother. be granted even to perfect disciples. Yeah? What are you doing here? Eat him. Shouldn't you be working somewhere? Idle hands are the devil's workshop. In much speaking, um, do not escape sin. And in another place, the Mitchell guilt. You're right, brother. Death and life are in the this is your second warning. Do it again and you will be punished. Bloody how? The disciples part is to be silent. I'm trying to sit but I can't. For that reason if anything has to be asked of the superior, it should be I've got to sit here. Okay. Eat. Inspired by reverence. But as for coarse jests and idle mm. words. Hello brothers. Laughter, these we condemn everywhere with a perpetual What the? Alex absolutely disgusting him, whatever that is. A disciple to open his mouth. So you all right? You guys all right? Yeah. Readings on humility. The first degree of humility. I would hate to be a monk. Without delay, any delay in execution. But this very obedience will be acceptable to God and pleasing to men only if what <gasps> is commanded is done without hesitation. Oh my God! I've been food poisoned. Warmness, grumbling, or objection. For the obedience. You've got a strong constitution. Anyone else would have certainly died. What... What happened? Let me tell you a little story. Once upon a time, there was a young boy. He was lost and miserable. He had no future. He was tempted by his friends into doing some foolish things. But he wasn't truly bad. Because when it came down to it, he ran away rather than keep doing foolish deeds. His former friends didn't take kindly to that, though, and wanted to punish him. So they sent a hunting dog to find him and rip his throat. The boy wasn't stupid, though, and he knew that the hound was coming. He poisoned some food, and when the hound showed up, he gave it to him. He didn't expect the beast to live, but it did. And all of a sudden, the boy was sorry for what he tried to do. So he offered to make a bargain with the hound. Uh, yeah, it was you that poisoned me. It was you that poisoned me. Don't take it personally. Kill or be killed. So he's Pios. You know, we're both pawns in someone else's game. They have plans for us. But we don't have to let them use us. We can just forget all about it and go our own way. I, I was a bandit and I was at Nyhoff. I've robbed and stolen. But I swear to God, I've never in my life slain innocent people. What I saw at Nyhov made me realize my life was worth shit. 
but I still had a chance to change for the better. Here in the monastery I've had plenty of time to think things over. But then you showed up. And fucked it all up. Wow. So the evildoer changes his ways and finds God. And what exactly are you proposing? Both of us can leave this place. You can go back to your people. And I can go somewhere where I can live out my life in peace. And no one will try to kill me. If we work together, we can both get what we want. Mmm. Right, okay. Um, objective started, kill Antonius. You've done wrong and I'm going to kill you for it. But I can't kill him in the monastery. I can just go I agree and then kill him afterwards, couldn't I? Are there other options? What if I wanted a different option? You could kill another novice, I suppose. I can't do that. If news of the murder got out from the monastery, my former friends might believe I'm dead. But I'm offering you a solution that doesn't require any killing. Before we make a run for it, we'll make it look like someone's killed me. Loads of blood, a tattered scrap of my habit, and footprints leading towards the river. No one will bother looking for my body there. There we'll split up. You go for your bounty, and I'll get as far away from here as I can. Okay, I, I, I don't know whether to pretend. Oh my god. There we split up. You go for your bounty. And I get as far as well as I can. Right, I need to get that ring. I need to get the dice off him. And I need to find out where the money is. Um. Good. Let's do it your way. Good. I'm glad that despite our initial discord, we could reach an agreement. Here, take something to calm your stomach. Now we'll need the keys to the monastery and some blood to make the tracks. Okay. I did want to kill another novice but um oh my goodness what have i got myself in for now what will you do what are you gonna do i need to get ready for a long journey prepare supplies get some normal clothing somehow that sort of thing you can escape in that habit but i need to vanish as fast as i can what do i need the keys for what do i need the keys to the monastery for how else will we get out this place is practically a prison. Getting the keys won't be easy. I know, but Brother Solarius is a reformed thief. I'll bet he still has a few lockpicks lying about. Okay. If you know how to use them, they'll be worth finding. Or there's the hard way. Steal the keys from the prior. He carries them with him at all times. They both sound hard to me. But needs must. Get the key. Get keys or lockpicks. Okay, where can I find blood? And where am I supposed to get my hands on blood in a monastery? You'll find a parchment in the kitchen with a list of ingredients on it. All the things they're ordering. Add blood for making soup to the list. And when it's delivered the next day, take it before anyone notices it's even come. Okay, I know everything I need to know. I can get to All right, work. That's everything I need to know. My God. I can get started. Excellent. Come and see me once you have everything. And try to be as fast as you can. And Gregor... Thank you. Bloody hell. So he's tried killing me and now I suddenly I'm helping him. Right, so this seems a good time to kind of cut this video. This, um, it ends up just going on for ages, guys. I ended up picking up more quests in here, uh, which we shall we'll see in the coming episodes. Um, yeah, it would have been a, just a huge, huge episode. So, yeah, so now we find who is Pyos. And uh, I didn't think we were going to find out who Pios was in this manner, getting poisoned at the breakfast. So somehow we kind of agreed to help Nicholas. I didn't want to do that. I want him dead. Um, but I don't want to do it in the monastery. So I've, I'm not sure if we can do it this way now. But I've agreed to help him. But I'm hoping that once we're outside the monastery, we can kill him. Maybe. I don't know if that's a thing. we we'll probably lose that on some uh, rewards, I expect. Uh, so anyway guys thanks for watching the video and i will continue this obviously in the coming videos and uh yeah so take care and see you next time hopefully see you later bye bye